hello and welcome to my channel so uh, today in this video we are going to learn how uh, we can create a map we can visualize our data through map in power bi so talking about power bi it's a uh, powerful data visualization tool that was developed by microsoft and uh, it can be very much useful uh, to create an interactive visualization and can be helpful in any type of business and uh, other uh, various capabilities and uh, for this uh, tutorial uh, we'll be needing uh, three things one is uh, the boundary data or uh, the data the map where you want to show the uh, save file where you want to show our data another thing is qgis so it will be very much useful to uh, uh, change our data format so if we have save file or any other format you we can use uh, QGIS to convert it that into Excel file so that we can have separate column of our data which we want to visualize through our maps and the third tool is obviously Power BI so uh, if you haven't already installed Power BI you can directly go to Microsoft uh, Store so in Microsoft Store can uh, directly search for uh, Power BI. So I'll show you, I'll demonstrate you how to search uh, and install Power BI. So you can search directly Power BI. So Power BI uh, app, so it's, it's uh, available in both app and uh, other uh, format as well. So uh, you can directly install from it. So I have already installed, but it's showing uh, not installed, but it's fine and the next thing is qgis you might have already installed qgis on the desktop and uh, let's uh, start with first with uh, qgis and the data i have in uh, my uh, 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 working folder so i have the data of uh, nepal so i'll be using the save file of uh, district so let me i have already in, uh, entered the save file of district in my uh, uh, QGIS so after that what I'll do is I'll export this save file as QGIS sorry Excel file so uh, the thing that you need to con uh, look at is uh, at first you need to convert this save file into uh, Excel file format spreadsheet file format not into CSV we'll later convert that Excel file into CSV first it needs to be Excel file so I will uh, convert this as a district.excel file and I'll save in my working folder so I'll do that and after that let me go to the folder where I have saved and I'll open this and after that what I'll need is I'll need the value that I'll want to show in our core of lit map so I'll uh, randomly select the data between thousand sorry hundred and thousand and i'll uh, visualize that data in a uh, code of place map so for that i'll go with i'll uh, uh, assign a random value for all the 77 districts and i'll save this as csv file format again so it will be csv now it will be saved as csv file format and after saving that as csv file format what i'll go is i'll go into the new website that is mapshaper.org i'll keep that link in the description so what it does is it converts the save file or any other uh, geospatial data format into uh, 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 into any file format uh, that's available here so what you need to do is you need to have the save file so one thing you need to uh, do is you need to add all the uh, uh, files that is uh, here with this .ssp so you need to see as uh, add csd dbf bis and everything into the uh, website so you need to drag this and after that import it and what we can do is we can export this as to position so you need to export this a file as to a position remember it's to a position not geo position and let's export this so i'll save this as district dot uh, json and after that let's open power bi so uh, when you open power bi you need to first uh, 
sign in into the Power BI. So after signing everything during the signing up uh, process in Power BI, the first look that the first interface that you will see is uh, will be like this. And first thing when you want to uh, add map, add Coroplate map into your uh, Power BI dashboard, so you need to go to File and go to Options and click on options and in the options you can see one option as in the global you can see this preview features so in preview features you must see the first option as shape map visual when you have first time open this option you will see like this uh, it won't be ticked so you need to click on tick and then click on ok so after that you will uh, uh, see our uh, dialog so where you will be set to restart the power base so let me restart uh, let me first uh, close this and again search for power bi desktop okay so after power bi is installed you can see here one option of shape map so before that let me get my data into my power bi so i'll click on this get data option here inside the home and in get data you will click on text slash csv in text slash csv we will select the file that we have already created and it will take some time to load the data let's load the data into our power bi dashboard So after loading the data into the Power BI uh, desktop uh, dashboard, you will see the, here the data, the district file and the column in each of in the district file. So after that, what do we need to do is we need to click on this shape map. So when you click, it will uh, come into the blank space in the dashboard and we can enlarge this and put this in center. And after that you can see here in the visualization you can see the locations here in this location we will insert the district so after that district so you need to go to this option as format your visualization in the format you will see the prop sorry so in the visualization you can see uh, map setting and in map type you will go with custom map and in the custom map we will browse to the uh, map we have converted into proposition and we will click on this after that you can see it's already uh, getting us, us uh, call uh, color so it's blue because all the value are null and it's same so we need to assign the value to each of the districts so for that we need to add the value into the color situation so when you add the value into the color saturation you can see the visualization in the map so it's changing so when you hover into the different district you can see each of the district is changing based on the map so when you click it's showing only that and also you can change the color through the visualization you can go with field color and you can change uh, select the theme so i'll select this as the theme and it will change based on that let's go from white to this you can basically change the value from uh, or change the color value from here so in this way uh, you can add a code of plate map into the power bi dashboard and uh, i hope uh, this video was something new in my channel and you like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share it to those audience who 
need this type of uh, video and who does data visualization and want to visualize the data through maps so thank you very much and see you in the next video bye bye